Hello, this is Alex on Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here is the news from the fourth week of June. Readers can block news articles they don't want to see on Naver. Naver has introduced a feature that allows news readers to block news media they do not want to see. This is the measure taken by the Democratic Party of Korea to promote media reform towards taking the news editing power from the portal sites and giving the readers the ability to choose the media they wish to consume. Users can select the media they do not want to see on the settings screen to hide it at the top right hand side of My News. Articles from the media company will be hidden in My News and Recommended News sections. However, due to the general news recommendation algorithm, if too many media companies have been hidden or if all of the news of the recommended and subscribed media have already been read, the news articles from the media companies set as hidden may still appear. The staff from Naver said, we are strengthening the role of a technology platform that connects media companies and readers so that the editorial values which the media companies pursue are delivered without being distorted. Next up, Celico registers patent for subtype artificial retina device. Celico, the startup that develops new microelectronic eye technology for blind patients, announced that it has decided to register a patent for a subtype artificial retina device and its operation and manufacturing method, which it applied for last year. Celico develops an implantable artificial retina medical device that enables vision restoration by implanting a high resolution simulation device into the photoreceptor layer damaged by eye disease. The patented technology registered this time is one of the key technologies for achieving high resolution of the electronic eye as it determines the arrangement and size of the stimulation electrode and the return electrode. Celico proposed a new electrode production method through this patent. This is expected to overcome the limitations of miniaturization of single electrode cells and increase in the number of pixels to express high resolution and solve the problem of image blur. Zhang Yi Wun the head of the Celicon Research Center said, with this patented technology, we would like to develop a microelectronic eye device with high resolution, which is impossible with current technology, and reduce the patient's cost burden by using the semiconductor manufacturing process. For our third story of the day, GBSA to hold webinar to teach all about entering Amazon Store. For SMEs that dream of entering global e-commerce, Gyeonggi-do Business and Science Accelerator, or GBSA, will hold the webinar A to Z in Entering Amazon Store, live at 4 p.m. on July 7th. This webinar was prepared to support SMEs that are in the Amazon Store, but are having difficulty in promoting and selling due to not being familiar with the sales systems. At the webinar, participating companies can learn know-hows on Amazon delivery and marketing from the experts. The seminar will focus on these aspects. Guide on GBSA SME support project, Amazon store entry process, delivery guide for Amazon store with a speaker from a delivery company, marketing strategy for product promotion after entering Amazon with a speaker from a marketing company and filling out the application for store entry, followed by a Q&A. The seminar will be offered free of charge. To participate, click the application URL in EGBiz notification page. The application is due July 2nd. The URL to the seminar will be automatically sent to the email address entered when filling out the application form. Visitors will be able to enter by clicking the URL on the day of the webinar. For the final big story, K-Startup challenges the Korean government to pave the way for global startups to enter Korea. The K-Startup Grand Challenge 2021, KSGC 2021, will be launched from August 16th to November 30th as they select 60 global startup teams that want to expand their businesses to Korea. KSGC 2021 is a global startup acceleration program hosted and funded by the Korean government and NIPA. The Korean government supports talented entrepreneurs and promising startups to transform Korea and Pangyo Techno Valley of the creative economy into a global startup hub in Asia. KSGC 2021 will offer a 3.5 month residency program in Korea to 60 teams and entrepreneurs. The benefits include expert guidance, co-working spaces, a state-of-the-art R&D lab, corporate partnerships and access to Asian markets. 
The acceleration program takes place on the startup campus of Pongo Techno Valley Technology Hub near Seoul. The top 10 companies at the end of the competition will receive a total of $320,000 in grants, with the first place team receiving $120,000. First launched in 2016, the program aims to promote the expansion of the open entrepreneurship ecosystem in Asia and help Korea develop into a prominent hub for startups and businesses in the region. In 2020, the program grew 58% despite the COVID-19 pandemic. A total of 2,648 teams from 118 countries applied for it last year. And here is your quick news of the week. First up, a kickoff ceremony for a unicorn club. The Gyeonggi Center for Creative Economy and Innovation, or Gyeonggi CCEI, had a kickoff ceremony for the launch of KB Unicorn Club together with KB Kumin Bank. Next up, next up, KISA Pangyo to open SW Development Security Hub next month to prevent security weaknesses by diagnosis and consulting. The Korea Internet and Security Agency, KISA, will open a software development security hub next month. Its purpose is to provide security weakness diagnosis infrastructure and consulting services to small and medium-sized software operators, preventing security weaknesses from the software development stage and reducing social costs caused by such infringement. And finally, Cacao Tea becomes a legal transportation operator. The Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport announced on June 18th that three operators, Cacao Mobility or Cacao Tea, Konatus, Half Half Taxi, and Jin Mobility, IM Taxi, have been registered as a connecting platform operator according to the revised Passenger Transport Service Act. And that's it for the news this week for Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. I'm Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next week.